Gosh, I'd, I'd say there's probably two misconceptions that Americans have about slavery that are pretty dangerous. Uh, one is we don't have slavery here, which we do. We absolutely do. Uh, and the other is the other is that it's all about enslavement. If they know about slavery, they think it's all about enslavement into prostitution of women from overseas. Uh, now, the, the facts are that uh, very conservatively measured, very conservative measure would say we have probably 50,000 people in slavery in the United States. And some people would put that number much higher. But what we also know is that the number of people who are enslaved in sexual exploitation into prostitution is less than half of that total to the best of our understanding. Now, again, it's a hidden crime. It's a criminal, you know, episode, so it's hard to get the tight numbers, but to the best of our understanding. And so it, what that means is that slavery exists all around us in the United States, and people tend to be very unaware of it. And, and, and literally, it could be in, in your neighbor's backyard. It could literally be in the restaurant where you had a meal, you know, a few nights ago and so forth. And what we're missing then is uh, the idea that slavery is in our country, that it's actually always been in our country. There's actually never been a day in the history of the United States without slavery. But of course, the other, I guess if it's a misconception or really a big idea that nobody has quite come to grips with, is that we could actually be a slave-free country. And we could be a slave-free country in a way that would be a first in human history. The government has promised that we will not have slavery in this country, in the same way that the police say, you know, we're going to do our best to make sure there's no murder in, in this country. Well, when you compare the amount of money which is in the, in the low 100 million zone to stop the crime of slavery in this country, and you compare it to the billions, about four and a half billion, which are spent on homicide, you begin to realize these two extremely serious crimes are not getting the same treatment. And a perfect example of this is that the State Department suggests that something like 17,000 people are brought into the country every year to be slaves, trafficking victims, 17,000 every year to, into the United States to be new, new slaves in America. The homicide rate in the United States is almost exactly 17,000 a year as well. So we've got 17,000 new slaves and we've got 17,000 murder victims, and yet we spend over four billion on the homicide and under a hundred million on the slavery. We have a homicide detective and unit in every police department in the country. And how many slavery and human trafficking units do we have? Last count I made was about seven. Twenty thousand police departments, maybe seven of them have anybody, want, even an individual part-time who's devoted to slavery. It's a very odd situation that we have a crime almost as serious as murder, getting no attention. And that's, that's one of the things we've got to do to make this a slavery country. Mm -hmm.